think that if seven don't get all like two tier twos with the first ages, then the game feels kind of okay. For uh for Vega, that is. Whoa, look at the little team names up top. Dude, these look cool. They're all getting right. ready for TI. Look at those. All right. The Dota design, man. This is gonna this sting. This is gonna sting. Thanks be to you. <laughs> Prepare this for is gonna that. sting. Now, according to my, uh, my jungle quest, Batrider is a caped hero, but he doesn't appear to have a cape here. I gotta win a Batrider game, guys. Well, that should be easy enough. I'd say so. I like that hero. One of my original favorites when I started watching Dota. It's been a hot minute. I haven't played Bat in a little while. Really satisfying when you get a good lane matchup, though. You just feel unstoppable. Oh, yeah. It's totally broken. It's like cheating. Like 10th pick some Bat Rider in your pub. You're just like, hey, hey, hey. Sorry, Charlie. All BO1 Dota tonight, boys and girls. Pavaga on the Radiant. No, Pavaga are on the Dire. My bad. They are. You've got no... Uh, no flags. Oh, there we go. No flags, no team titles. Nobody's even tagged up right. Man, the I'm names are... Actually oh, yeah. work. To work yeah, hard. Right. We're going to have to... Right, let me let me figure out some of these ones. Oh, looks like it'll be an even spread on bounties. A little bit of damage exchanged down here in the bottom lane. Uh, if you don't know the right name, you're just getting called your hero this game, boys. Um, like that's what's happening here. Yeah, that's goddamn and Malik. Fair to me. Those are my two boys. Ergon. So up top, we got PL here. He's going to have his lane mate coming. Warlock's trying to get to his box. He's a little slow, but he's coming. Yeah, I think he had to make the, the runabout. But uh, yeah, he should be fairly protected once PL got to start. Four branches, so one for the tango. Three for the well, that's not right. That's not how the math works anymore. Beast Beat wasn't it three for the wand back in the day? I totally was right. Am I crazy? Say again. Did it used to be three sticks for wand? I can't even remember. Dude, there's so many changes in Dota. Anyway, uh, he's got one stick know. already used for the tango, and then he'll have another one to tango, and then he'll get his wand up because he's against a bat rider. Uh, and then it's all about the timing with a doppelganger. I would say PL is one of the worst. Bat Rider counters. Like, he's a hero, sure. Like, it, it works, you know, but he's he's not as good as Jug, I don't think. Because when Jug, when you spin, you go for a kill. PL, when you doppelganger, you just, like, have to run away. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that's a good way to frame it. He's still kind of a counter, but, you know, he, he ain't no nakes. You know, you're not just raging off these things. I think, is Jug king of the castle in terms of uh, Bat Rider counters in lane? I think so. Um, yeah. In terms of, like, the carry heroes that you want. True. Yeah, I guess a badden is pretty darn good in these scenarios as well. Just cleanse off the sticky. Oh, there's an idea. We should put flags up next to their names. Oh, that's what that means. Oh, Ooh, that'd be a good idea. We put little country flags up there. I, I might be able to do something like that. I might miss a kill or two in the process, but I think. Uh, I'll, I'll just radio Dota cast it for you guys right now. Oh, yeah. Weaver's a pretty good one, too, for position ones. Weaver's not bad. I think the teams that do, like, the 1v1 Weaver versus Bat, and they run, like, a, another kind of core in the off lane. I like that um, nice. setup, too. But uh, up top, we have uh, Warlock, and uh, Warlock's coming out of his box. He's able to leave the safety of the tower because the Bat has been zoned back with the wave pushed out. So able to trade a little bit here with uh, the Nyx Assassin, but now they're going to move it back onto the Phantom Lancer. And they're trying to force out this Doppelganger. He might have to go to the low ground. I'm not sure what his play is here. He did not go to the low ground. He's just on the run. Now he's stunned up. I, I think Theo might be going down here. That's your first blood. That's a nice setup right there. He just had no escape. 
They, they were way up under that tower. Not so sure about that play. He does get his wand recipe at the very least. All right. I got the uh, the seven logo. That's one. Oh, you're doing the logos? All right, perfect. Nicely done. Oh, look at this Fatal Bonzo. This is the crazy thing they buffed. Unfortunately, it didn't hit the Bat Rider. It only hit the Nyx. So that's a little disappointing. It just hit so many creeps. But uh, if you can manage to put the damage onto the weight. Oh my god, that Bat Rider thing. So imagine if he had a gun. He still got the Bat! That Bat wasn't even Fatal Bond and they killed him. What the hell? He thought he could just dive. Oh, he was trying to push to the ass a little bit, man. <laughs> Such a bad death. And then they lose the Ursa down bottom, too. All right, uh, so we got team logos up now, so that should help a little bit, gang. Start paying attention again. I have no idea what happened to that Ursa. I, yeah, I didn't see that. Jeez. I can't believe Bat just died. That's so bad. Like, when you're in this dominating matchup as a uh, Bat Rider, it's, it's very important you do not die. You're just supposed to keep on just choking them, man. You know, they're on the ground, you got your foot on their throat, and you just don't let up. Yeah. Sounds like something Batrider would do. Mid lane. Alright, here we go. Maybe Got him with the double fatals. Oh. Can have a go. There's the stun onto the PL. He's still got the doppels. Like Alright, he's gonna get away with holding it. That was nice. He yeah. just survived a firefly. So this is the warlock factor here. Two points in the shadow word. And the magic stick. All right, bounty time. What do we got? Multi-brand. Oh, PL. Oh, he did it. He got it. Yeah. PL got it, dude. All right, I'm impressed. I didn't think that was going to work. I thought the doppel timing was going to be too long. And then he kills the PL. Uh, I mean, the Nick Sasson. What a gamer. And then the bat just died killing the warlock. Wow. Yeah, the earth spirit rotated up. So, still a bounty here in the Radiant Jungle. It gets pinged out. They're like, Teal, for the love of God, please get it. It's like, guys, I gotta get back to lane. You don't understand what mid is like. I have to get these last hits. So, there's still one just chilling. They should be able to pick it up. Exus putting the hurt onto Ergon right now. Honestly, they might have assumed Earth Spirit already got it. But it's one of those bounty runes that the other team's definitely gonna assume it's already been taken, so. Eventually, it'll fall in the hands of, uh, of Radiant. Most likely. Although the shrine's already been used, so you never know. Up top, Malik looking for the plays. Oh, look at this. Yeah, the aggro's on the wave. That, that's a dead Warlock. Oh, he missed the stun. Did Warlock live because of it? No, five stacks of sticky. He's still taking yeah, way look too much, much more damage. Bat's taking because of it. Bat might fall. Is it going to be a turn? KS charging forward, and he is. Bro, that Warlock's got no boots. You can't, you can't miss that stun. I hear you on that one. And now uh, multi-focus here is going to go down, it looks like. <laughs> multi-focus. Goddamn dies elsewhere. Moving around the trees. Doing some Zyori jukes here. Oh, yeah? Is that what we're calling those now? I think so. The ankle breaker. <laughs> Perfect. I thought that was the standstill. Isn't that the Zyori juke? <laughs> That's what that Ricky did in the trees. Now, the real play was um, the game when I warded up the wrong jungle for our Drow Ranger. Sin made the call and said, we need some wards for the Drow. So I warded up this jungle. <laughs> Not the Wait, one what? that Drow was looking to farm. <laughs> That was an embarrassing moment. And then Sin, Sin had my back. He was like, well, you know, technically, since she can't one-shot Ancients anymore, the bottom jungle might actually be more efficient. So really, you just had the next level play. It was the Drow Ranger who wasn't ready to adapt. Genius, my dude. That's the sign of a good captain right there. Positive mental attitude. Well, Warlock is, uh, is mid right now. And is showing. Uh, let's see if he gets the D ward here. Oh, that sentry is a swing and a miss on the old observer ward mid lane. And is he going to secure a rune? Nothing there. DD bottom. Damn, he's close on that ward. Dyer's top tower.
That's yeah, a bummer. That's, that's a bummer there. They, they're actually not diving this PL, though. He only has level one Doppelwalk. And they have a ward behind the tower. This guy needs to die. All right, 13 seconds on the next Firefly. It looks like that just determined that the camp was more Radiant's valuable. I guess. I don't know. This PL is doing surprisingly well in a lane that I think on paper was supposed to be fairly difficult. I guess Warlock does certainly make things easier, but PL's number one on net worth. He's just about to hit level seven. Oh, this ward's done so much work. Oh, and now spots the Ursa rotating into. I mean, that's why PL's living. It's all because of this Observer Ward next to that hard camp. This is a four hero ro uh, rotation. Right, they have to kill this Warlock. I mean... This is as easy as it gets, dude. Lasso into layup. They so just now, go bottom. The, yeah, the PLTP bottom. He took the tower with the team. But now the question is, do you take the Beastmaster top? He's got helm and boots already. And this tower is still pretty healthy. They're not even going to push it, dude. They back out, and it's just a solo Ursa. Yeah, despite having an Ember on their team, the Dire actually has better tower push. Because the raid ended with a Ursa OD Batrider Tricor. Not so sure about this Beastmaster Helm first, though. Is that the build now? I mean, we don't really see Beastmaster that much. He wants Necro Books next. I don't know. Is, is HOD that bad? What would you rather see? Like a Vlad's first or something? Yeah. Vlad's, uh, Medallion. It can maybe, I guess in this game, there's no way you're getting the Roche because you have a PL and Ember, so the Medallion's definitely worse. So that's probably why his build's a little different this time. They're going to make the rotation for the 10-minute room, and they're going to roar to secure it as well as get the kill onto Goddamn, but he's probably dead anyway. God but you get Bounty it. Rune. Damn. That's going to be uh, four runes for the Dire, plus oh, that's they get the Haste, and they pick up the Silencer. That's about as good as it gets at 10 minutes. Top tower is under attack. That's a pretty well, sweet set of spoils. I think Radiant kind of had to win lanes for this game to look good, and I think they should have won lanes. So this is uh, not a good sign here for Seven. I think the, the Belarusians here are looking real good. I'm pretty with you on that. Pavaga Jr. in a good position. Now some pressure onto this Tier 1. Thought they were going to maybe force a team fight, but... Seems they don't want to do that. Dude, that, next time I play Beastmaster, I'm just getting Helm and I'm getting a Bassy. And I'm just going to bring this Wildwing Ripper with a Bassy. And I'm just going to see how much, uh, how many tower shots my creeps are going to tank. Wow. Yeah, All that, that bonus plus five armor, armor, dude. Look out. Dude, that's sick on a whole creep wave. Radiance it's like that good. early in the game. He, he could have that right now. He could. These guys have trash wave clear on the Radiance side. <laughs> it's a play, all right? Radiant's bottom tower yeah, you're kind of right. Attack. He's picked up the centaur now. All right, first vendetta, or at least it feels like it. Dyer's Currently, uh, no dire sentries, but warlocks come with one. You can see Nick's getting nervous. He's just hanging out in that radiant sentry right now. That's his safe zone. Ooh, they smoke. Ember instantly pops. They, Although he lasso, might have been outside the range. They lasso the PL down bottom. They pop this global. They juice him. Hey, they start up top as well. They go for the stun on the Ember. I forgot he actually just got up because of that. What? Uh, no. He's not getting away. All right. No, so got they, a lot of carapaces left. They go one for one. Maybe they'll grab a tower. Dyer lose their courier. Oh, no. Boys, what? what? Where? I don't know. I wish we could had a courier hockey these days. <laughs> it's so unfair. The extremely rare circumstances. Yeah. I don't know. I was not expecting a courier snipe there. Well, I mean, it didn't that. look like it was around the Roche. I don't know. I have no idea how it just died. And we're dead even now. That OD Midas is kicking in, dude. Another Vendetta coming mid. No sentries down. Look out, Beastmaster. Dude, what was that? I think that was a missed micro. 
That was definitely a missed fight, girl. That was one bold maneuver. He's just charging into the whole team like yellow. Yeah, that was a that was a control group issue, you know, on land setup. I, I've seen that happen with the Beastmasters before. By the way, that Warlock has six sentries in his uh, stash right now. He's prepped. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Can I make yeah, the team logos is... bigger or smaller depending on how likely I think they are to win? Wow. <laughs> All right, just put the Faga one. Well, before the Beastmaster play, it should have been like half the screen, and now it should be back down to the original size. I'll just <laughs> roll with that for a little while. Um, I, I still feel pretty solid for Favaga, even with that. Nyx does pick up this rune. Luckily for the Dyer, they've got a dust. Nixie in trouble. Nice stun on two, but a primal roar. Get yeah, Carapace back. You're this one. Maybe not. He gets another Carapace. Finally, Ergon will grab the kill. Malik over on the side. Out comes the Rock. This should be enough to get the Bat Rider. A little more damage. 19 HP, and instead it goes the other way. They lose their Earth Spirit. Only the Ursa was fatal bonded out of things that were left, so he, he survived somehow. Wow. Okay. That Favaga logo getting a little smaller. <laughs> Dude, he's dropping these sentries everywhere right now. This is my problem right now when I uh, am playing. I, I'm a little too happy on the uh, the sentries, I think. I don't know. I feel like I can't walk past a common ward area without dropping a sentry. Yeah. I guess it makes up for the by the fact that like they're so much cheaper now and how much gold you still get. Because they didn't reduce the bounty you get from the runes. That was one thing that was a little odd to me. So like... One good D-Ward can be like three centuries. Okay, it's like two centuries now, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, isn't it sort of... Doesn't it make up for the fact that it's a crapshoot? Like, you have to burn a lot of centuries that don't do anything to get that fat reward. I mean, kind of, but at the same time, like, you can see Simon's just dropping centuries here because now he's an ob sentry combo versus Nyx. So uh, if he ever rotates through this little area, he'll know. He's master down bottom. Good call, good call. Nice catch. I'm on it, dude. So our bat rider died enough in the laning phase, he couldn't complete the boots, but then he just went instantly right back for his boots of travel. Oh, did I say boots? I meant to say drums. Um, so then he instantly went back to his boots of travel, because that is the current bat rider item. Do not, I repeat, do not buy tranquils on your bat riders anymore, guys. It's officially over. The boots of travel are just way too good. Now, are you sure I phase think... boots on bat is not an option? Also true. Okay. Don't just, do that either. Just double check. Yeah. I, I guess maybe if you're playing support bat, you can still do tranquil sometimes. But if you're playing a core bat at all, it's over, guys. Just get the boost travel. They're completely busted. This build doesn't feel that great to me, though. Like, BOT is straight into BKB. That is not an intimidating bat build. I, that's what you, I don't know, it's the new thing, dude. Blink is like, it's not a core item anymore on Batrider. It is a, you'll still get it most games, but the BKB is generally more important, honestly. Really? Yeah. I mean, I still think of Blink Force Staff as like a great set of items on this hero. How can they be bad? I mean, they're still good. Just, I don't know. The, you just play with this boots of travel and you feel it. And you're just like, all right, this is actually super strong. And so you don't really need the blink dagger. Like, you're playing more with your team. You're not doing these crazy blink into five people. You know, everyone's positioning, I think, is just so much better. I, I do think it is one of those things where, like, people have gotten so much better at Dota that Batrider has become worse because of it. That's a fair statement. You know? Like, team's positioning is just way better. Yeah. It's harder to get those isolation catches. People are just more aware of the bat. Lose the silencer here. Could lead to something more. Malik. He's on the move. Another thing that's kind of interesting when you think about it is that in the old way that Batrider is played, after the laning stage, Napalm was kind of useless. You know what I mean? He would like blink Napalm Lasso sometimes if you knew it was a free Lasso. But for the most part, you would blink Lasso, instantly force staff, and go back to your team with Firefly and stuff. And Napalm just became kind of a nothing. But when you have this BKB and you're actually playing with your team and you're like, you Lasso one guy and then you just keep Napalming like everyone in the team fight. 
It is a different style. All right, I, I see where you're going with this. I, I'm not opposed. Have you seen a golem drop yet? One. One. The one golem. Alright, Pavaga getting Radiance their push on now, though. I was getting, uh. Well, actually, I was getting. I'm mostly still worried for the Radiant side. But after the whole Beastmaster thing, we, we had some issues. But, uh, they're, they're back on uh, the lead. I'm surprised it's such a minimal lead, actually. Hey, look at this zoo uh -oh. down here. There is going to be a global mid. They're going to go for this kill on the Phantom Lancer, and they will get it. But down bottom, man, they are pushing quick. Glyph does come out, buys them some time. Let me win, please. He's trying to decide what to do here. They're just going to go right in onto Malik. That bat will TP to his own death. Earth Spirit does die somewhere in the mid lane as we're looking down bottom. Ends up being a one for two around the map. Chip damage on the tower. See a ping onto the Nyx. They also constantly have this Hawk of Roche. So they haven't given away uh, the Aegis yet to this Ursa, which is super important uh, for Dire Team. And now they're going to get Goddamn for free. Look at how much damage it's like this now. Holy. OD does have a BKB, though. Exus. Does, does he? What do they have? Treads? Taya? Midas? Wow, he's he's pretty bad. A fat OD, dude. Wait, what kind of int items are, is our uh, PL getting? Is he just going normally items? Here's me. Yep. Oh, he's been caught that. here. Well, he's going to get lassoed. Does have some support this time, though. Both teams with friends nearby. The rock comes down. Ursa looks like they'll be able to survive through it. Maybe not. I spoke too soon as PL joins the fray. They do trade one for one again. Should be able to clean up this Nyx Assassin. That'll make it a twofer. And perhaps more. Goddamn on the run. KS silenced still up. Got it, though. Oh, he's got the defusal. That's going to make it a pretty easy chase. One for three. Pavaga, baby. Power just coming in with the OD here. Kill's dead. Whoa. <laughs> well, I made their logo bigger and I kind of missed it. Well, shit. There's your 10 second BKB. Hey, you're definitely going to call that worth, though. And now he's dead. Ursa's respawning. I think they just go Roche. I guess you have no um, sanity. This is the only problem. But Ursa might smoke in. I don't know. He's pr probably pretty tempted right now. You do still have global. I'm kind of with you on that. Might just be too short, though. Um, and they know that there's going to be vision and everything, so they'll just uh, determine that it's not worth it. Not sure of a GPM talent. He does. He's a 120 at 15, eh? You guys want to know what's really depressing now about Crystal Maiden is playing that hero with no no way to cancel channels is actually insane. Like You can cancel TPs with Frostbite, but I underestimated how much of a nerf it was to not be able to cancel like channeled spells with frostbite anymore what, it's what pretty scenario painful. are you finding yourself stuck in like oh i'm talking like you're just trying to cancel like, any anything you think of the channel like versus enigma for example you can't even frostbite an enigma anymore yeah oh they'll get ergon mid okay okay yeah i don't know there's just some pretty important heroes that i get into games versus and i'm just like guys i can't do shit against this guy yeah. Yeah, like, but uh, now I know how they made up for it, though, as we're going to see uh, like another kill onto the Warlock. Oh, okay. Good TP. Should be all right. But uh, she has the 150 GPM is one thing at uh, 15, which is really high because most heroes only have the 120. So you get the 150, you buy a stun. It works out. Oh, Ursa locks his way into a double damage rune. That makes this Roche nice and easy. He's that level 15 talent, gets an Aegis for his OD. Edgy, yeah, yep. Radiance top tower has fallen. Now a 1k advantage to the Radiance. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm going to predict that Dota Plus says dire 60%. What do you think? Um, ooh, that's a tough call. I think it's gonna be Radiant 10%. 
Did you say radiant 10? Yes. No. It's 52% in favor of Dyer. So 52 to 48. Oh, I, I meant to say... All right, I said that wrong. I meant to say 60% for radiant. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought you meant. Yes. <laughs> I said that like a complete bonehead. That's 51% for radiant. All right. That was kind of where I was going with it. I thought it would tip into their favor now that they've got Roche and stuff. Odie goes for the strength. Oh, another roar. Defensive roar against the bat. Works out, I guess. He survives. But uh, yeah, he took the strength over the Sanity's Multiplier. Versus hmm. heroes that I guess just don't buy any int anyway. Um, sometimes PLs will buy Scotty to help out, but he's just gone for a hood instead. Going to see if that carries him through. Is that the logic, you think? The differential is so high already that it's just overkill to get the extra multiplier? I don't know if it's correct. I, I don't know. That's that's one of those talents that's pretty damn good. Like 20 strength isn't bad, but he's 3-0-0. Zero, and zero. Like, are, are you dying? I'm a little surprised. I, I would say the strength feels pretty rare. We're gonna get this Ursa. Oh, can OD make the saves? Those Aegis will fall. No, he's still up. Dude, this OD is whomping right now. They do go one for one. Now they lose the Nyx. We'll finally bring down the Beastmaster. And on the other side, PL is completely repelling this Ursa. Buybacks though. Two from the Radiant, one from the Dire. This is gonna be Dire's fight, it looks like. Triple kill for the PL. Back onto the other side of it though. Finally the Aegis. Looks like a Bat Rider. Lasso was used. The BKB try to flap those wings away. Maybe Radiant are gonna clean this up. The PL, where is he? Still alive, still fighting, but he's gonna be the lone defender. He's gonna have to go complete God mode to turn this around, and it is he's trying not to gonna happen. Okay. It's Team so, 7 that come out big in this one, Trent. Basically, that was all because Ursa didn't take the Aegis, so the PL felt uh, that he had to just fight the Ursa the whole time. So he chased the Ursa the entire way over here with the Nyx Assassin, leaving the OD to kind of have free reign during the other team fight that was occurring. And uh, I think they probably just had to deal with the, the OD, though, because as you can see, he is 40 int. He kind of had a good fight. Surprised he didn't finish that tower. Come on, dude. What are you doing? Oh, that's a dead Beastmaster up top. Isn't it? Oh my god, he's gonna live. Defensive roar. The slow from that little boar. Couldn't get the bashes, dude. Invisibility. Damn, Radiant have really recovered things. It's all on this OD, it feels like. That BKB, it was such a game changer. And now he's just too fat. And another kill, perhaps, here onto this Warlock. That rider with the Did he last, get the right one? So... I think he did. Uh, It'll color me impressed. Yes, he did get the right one. That was hard to click on. Because his mantle was up. Now, it was the Radiant who paused here, guys, so I don't be too mad. <laughs> I think the Dyer are probably pretty happy about this. They'll get some what time. What color is impressed? I would say like a royal purple, which is kind of like royal blue, but when it first hues into purple. I would consider that to be impressed. Does that sound fair? Um, What does that mean? What color is impressed? Yeah, because I said color me impressed. Oh, oh, I see. You know, it's like the phrasing. Yeah, I dig. Oh, yeah, he's just dead. Not much time to think about that. This game might just be over, dude. A Dire have really fallen apart quickly, and it just feels like they are out of options. OD is just... I don't know. They, they have a really hard time going high ground, though, but I guess the cooldown of the golems might be screwing them. I mean, I think they're okay right now. This tier three is fall, and they are going to lose goddamn again, but... What the hell? He's just fed. <laughs> You're a silencer with global. In what world are you standing there? 
Oh, they catch the TP on the Beastmaster. That's pretty nice. I guess in a world where you think your teammates are going to help you, which is kind of fair. I mean, they were sieging pretty hard. The Beastmaster wasn't there. I, I guess I, I can feel for the aggressive positioning. Well, that, that was bad. I mean, they should have at least had a tier three. Come on, dude. Oh, PL, your illusions. Got him. They'll just be dead by the time he gets a creep wave. It's okay. Win probability up to 76. For Radiant? Really? Mm hmm. Uh, what's Odie's next item? The Scythe. When he has the Scythe, I wonder if he should just skip Blink now. I would be kind of okay with that. They're looking for another pickoff, and Malak already used the Firefly, but he has that BKB. Not to drive them back. Odie and, uh,. Barrett maybe should have had a little talk here because he's buying Shivas as well. They're going to double Shivas. I guess it's not that bad versus PL. Just clear the illusions. Yeah, I don't think it's bad at all. Radiant Ursa now with the 10 second BKB. Mm hmm. Decent amount of I'm... physical damage. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's kind of bad, though. I'd almost rather just have an AC on the bat or something to try to take base. I mean, there's definitely a better item than. I think second G was, there's probably something better. Even if it's just like four set. I'm not sure if it's AC though. No, no, AC would be a bit of a meme. Yo, Earth Spirit got level 10, hype. Nah, he just got his talent. Isn't it weird to say that four staff kind of feels like an underrated item on Batrider these days? People just straight don't buy it anymore. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. It has been nerfed a lot, as Pat was kind of pointing out earlier. It's very true. That item used to be so broken. Remember, like, the 5-4 staff meta when Liquid was just, like, buying 5-4 staffs every game? That was pretty annoying. All right, they got the Yules. They're ready for the setup. They see the real PL. They've identified him. This Ursa is hungry. They're putting that sentry down. They're like, dude, they must have wards up here. But then the Hawk flies through. They're like, aha. Uh -huh. 11k net worth. Radiant in control. Vaga doing a pretty good job trying to keep the lanes pushed out. But they are definitely feeling the pressure right now. <laughs> I see how large. I just uh, unpaused the stream and saw how large that 7 logo is. Oh, You're it's really a big boy. feeling them. That's a 13k lead size logo. It's a big boy. Anyone who's just coming to the stream will be very confused as to why that logo is so huge. That is true. It's a three Xer. New technology. I like this. This is like a, a dynamic production. Fluctuates with the cast. All right, this guy's dead. You got five seconds till Necros. Will that save him? Yo, those acts are going. Yo, kill this guy. Bouncer's pinging like, yo, go. What are you guys doing? Odie's right here. And he's like, I don't have Blink, man. What am I supposed to do? Oh, it's too late now. They wasted it. I think Odie oh. should not have bought Shiva's. He should have went Blink Scythe. And I think the uh, the Bat should have bought Shiva's. But that's just my preference in this game. Because I think this Ember, they knew that he was so poor. There's no way he's getting BKB and Lincoln. He's just going to get one or the other. He doesn't even have the BKB yet. They will finish off the last outer tower. And there is still the possibility that they can just like trade racks uh, as well because they have this beat. Oh, they didn't kill the shrine though. They just all walk like right past it. They just want to smoke instead. I mean, it's still crazy how much more effectively the Radiant are farming though. It's been a stalemate for the last couple minutes and they are moving ahead. Now looking for this opportunity to catch one. Ursa finds the Earth Spirit. <laughs> he paused on death. All right. How did this happen? Sorry. That explains why he didn't kick him and roll away, I guess, eh? Hmm. 
grab anything else here. Ooh, ooh, that's a Beastmaster with no TP. Ooh. Well, that smoke really worked out. Damn. So rather than just securing this and potentially Roche, um, I mean, they would have get a kill before Roche. Now instead, because of that smoke, they can just go instantly take Roche. Don't have to care about the shrine yet. And then take the, the shrine after. And no buybacks available. Roche 2. Ripe for the take. And... Dude, this is all Team 7. Yeah. yeah. They almost have the uh, Abyssal done for Ursa. He's only a thousand gold away. Ooh. If they get Abyssal in sight, they... Oh, man. Yeah, they have Abyssal and sight basically done. Did they give the bounty to the Ursa? Probably, right? I mean, one would assume he'd kill Roche. I don't even think they need the Abyssal. I think you just go now with the Scythe, honestly. Yeah, the Ember does finally get his BKB. Oh, Ergon will have something. <laughs> Ursa's just trying to sell all his extra shit. He's like selling his quality blades, selling his other items. He's like, how close am I there? Finally, got it. All right, team, I'm coming. Now right. he's like, ah, I need the courier. He's to turn back. How did this happen? Oh, it's Ursa. He's so amped for this abyssal blade, dude. He can't wait. Okay, guys. Now I'm really coming. I'm ready. He's got his overpower. He's got his fury swipes. Have you ever been in a game with that um, overpower talent? The 25 one? Or sorry, the Earthshock talent, I mean? Um, the uh, plus 600 AoE. Good question. Probably, but not that I remember. That is nuts. Oh, so I'm pretty sure if you've been in a game with it, you'd remember it. It is amazing. It is such a fun talent. It's a pretty ridiculous amount. Yeah, it, it gets absolutely insanely huge. Like, more than doubles. All right, well, they're in. Malik is just straight diving tier fours. Global to follow up. This Bat Rider silencer combo is working like a dream. Easy kill onto KS. He's got a buyback, but not using it yet. Drops it now. Warlock ult comes down. Some fatal bonds jumping around. They'll just kill the golem. That's not the golem. That's Earth Spirit. My bad. <laughs> they also killed the Beastmaster. Starting to get pretty cheese. low, but Urser, he's got the cheese. He's topped back off. He still has the missile. Still, KS is here. They're going to bring down this Ursa. They've already killed the Bat Rider. Dust for this Nyx. That'll cut off his escape path. And in the end, it is a hold for the Dire. Now, mid barracks getting chunked down. They did lose the range. Melee will stay standing, but they did burn a couple of buybacks there. Three yeah, of them. Just a couple. Just uh, some of the more important heroes, so still a big win uh, for the Rain team for sure. And they did not get Aegis. And oh, they will OD. now lose their Beastmaster. OD might also solo this PL. We'll see. The conclusion coming momentarily. Buyback now on the Batrider. Yeah, that feels out of there, though. He good. All right, so kind of a wasted buyback on the Bat. But uh, they still got an OD problem. They're going to have a base problem in a minute here, too, because honestly, I would just uh, go with my Ursa. They're just going to look for one back kill, though. So nice ward from the Warlock here. Wait, I wonder where the gem is right now. Oh, Bat knows. And he just goes and grabs it. Thanks to that vision that gets left over now. So that's great. Okay. Yeah, that's handy. That's goddamn's gem. I have to say, that's a pretty funny addition. After all the times we'd watch a gem get left somewhere in a tree line for the rest of the game. You know, it happened every once in a while in a pro match. Mm -hmm. Maybe a good idea to just be like, yeah, maybe we should have like some sort of a marker for those things. Yeah. Oh, PL? Jeez. It's been a big catch. He's going to doppelganger up to the high ground. PL very close to his 24. All right, he's level 24. He's getting close to that 25. All right, there's smoke in the back line. It's like a 20 seconds for the golem, though. Warlock's just like, hold, please. 
And Needs still a few seconds on the Beastmaster. Seconds. Glyph does reset things a little bit as Ursa jumps in. He needs the biggest Fatal Bonds of his life. And not going to find it. Nope, it's gone. Malik repels the entire team with his BKB Shivas, and that secures the barracks. Now can they get out without taking a fight? They do pop the global. The Hex will finish off the Earth Spirit, now looking for more. Primal Roar onto Exus. That's the Aegis now. Oh, there was only 20 seconds left, though. Exus coming back to life. Rest of his team still inbound. Pops the BKB, trying to get off these right clicks. Does have a Sanities. But actually forced to take a more defensive posture. BKB still on for the Ember Spirit, but now expires as he gets lasso. There's the hammer. Buyback immediately. But S7E, they are cleaning this up. The remaining buybacks have been used. The Dire are out. So even if they clean this up, this will be another one of these costly holds. Ursa trying 94. to make the great escape. 94% win. I expect a larger uh, logo, please. True. True. Maybe we'll just make Pavaga smaller. So oh, that's a good idea. In comparison, there we go. It's so small, <laughs> I can't even move it now. There we go. That feels about accurate. Yeah, I'd say that's correct. Man, it really went downhill once that Beastmaster uh, ran into the tower mid. <laughs> the the momentum died out. They hit a, a couple of good pushes bottom, but that was it. Radiance it all goes shot. back to the Beastmaster. I think the Batrider pickoffs have been really good. Actually. I, I think the Batrider silencer combo is part of what felt so good. Like they, Oh, they might actually get this pick onto OD. Which way is it going to go? He does have some teammates here. Malik jumps in, trying to save his outworld devourer friend. Long roll, but a defensive astral. Nyx stuns onto three. They want this OD so badly, and they finally finish him off. That's a thousand gold going to the PL. That That's is some X3. You can't give that up when you only have one melee racks down. Just saying. That, that's not good. Hey, 20k one and a half. is not insurmountable. Yeah, it ain't over. And PL did go doppelganger. So now down to a four second cooldown. Makes him a lot more elusive. And there's oh, that no. I Scotty you mentioned. Yeah, this is where. So what's his int at now? 100? Yeah, he's just straight up at 100 int. Um, OD currently sitting around uh, 146, though. That's that's enough. Yeah, I'll say. OD with the uh, the eggs queued up here. Don't know if that's gonna happen. Aghanim's scepter. Oh he no. Which bat buys one? I think Nyx has one too. He's thinking about the uh, Moon Shard instead. I like that a lot on OD. Radiance bottom shrine is under yeah, I don't think you really need the eggs this game. Yeah. We'll, uh, Hard to pick a good game for the eggs. See the Roche timer here. Two minute spawn. Little bit unlucky for seven, perhaps. They buffed the uh, secondary search radius by another 50 AOE, which is really big. Uh, like, that's a huge buff when you think about it for the Batrider. That's 50 more units in every direction when it searches for a second target now in the Aghanims. That is pretty good. Uh, quite the arrow from our next player. Go in here and then go here. Go farm this. I think the Bat Rider Ags is pretty good. Feels fairly warranted. It can be a nice way to try to breach high ground like this too, even when you've got a decent lead but you're having trouble just running up there. It's a, it's definitely a game winning eggs too. Like you can just make a play that just wins you the game because of the second scepter. Yeah. Depending on what two heroes you grab. Oh, only gonna be one though. I only need one. Beastmaster Wait, drops what? his necros. 
Do they really need to global for this? TP out. He makes it. Wow. Mixed with the no Aether Lens, couldn't get the Yules off. I mean, they do get the Necro units, but still. I mean, that should have been a freebie. I mean, this guy has Blink. <laughs> Alright, well, goddamn. Uh, sitting on 3k gold, as I see someone in chat pointing out. A silencer saving for retirement. Does he know that interest is not a thing in Dota? That's a great question. Because he's got 2,500 gold surplus. I mean, he has the four staff, which is definitely the best item for him so far. Maybe a, a Lotus would be kind of okay to help the team. Maybe save up for that. Um, hmm. More sentries just to protect his next assassin would also be fine. Mid lane, though. Yeah, that I the PL. That's the target that they want, but the rock comes down. They do get the big kill. Buyback used straight away on the Phantom Lancer. BKB on the Ember Spirit keeps him alive. Keep this fight going. PL's back. You guys can do it. Ember Spirit in some trouble. Does get stunned on the backside. Nyx finds the kill. Nice setup there. He will not have a buyback. They still go one for one with goddamn down. They have right. to go to Roche with the PL buyback, I think. Oh, it is Refresher. Is that better this game? No, it's not. It's definitely not. Radiant they wanted the Ag Synth for the Send Ember. Attack. Definitely. They just do Roche so slow, though, that they yeah. need so many kills. They're not even going to go for it, it looks like. Nyx in the front lines, turns into the turret. Finish off the Golem. Yule Scepter yeah. on the Lurker. We get the double. Double lasso right into oh the team. They get God. the first kill, and it's a dead Ergon. No buyback there. On the other side, they do lose the Nyx, but will it cost them a PL? KS cannot go down here. Having couple, trouble controlling all these doppelgangers. He's going to jump in into the goddamn. That'll be a dieback there. Warlock does fall. That's a death golem. I think this is still the Radiant's fight, but the Dyer pressing forward. I can't believe this PL is still going in. But he wants more. KS is a man among men as he jumps to his near death. Doppelganger buys him a second, but it's a dieback now on the PL. And the Dyer might the finally be out of options. The OD does barely live in the end. The board was not enough yet. That's it. No buyback Ember, no buyback PL. Should be the finisher. I'm. I guess OD has a regen anyway, so they might as well just do Roche. But someone needs to be pushing mid right now. And especially when I mean, you know it's a dieback on the PL. Yeah. Ember, I mean, his is less than a minute away, so you might be a little bit suspicious that he's got it. Unless you're really diligent about the timer. Yo, give OD that refresher. Let's go. There it is. Yeah, there it is. I hear a lasso. Earth Spirit. BKB helping him out a little bit, but there's an Abyssal Blade. I think this one's over, Trent. Best of one yeah. for S7. Team 7. A bit of an upset from what I know. These teams, I guess. I mean, I would have assumed that uh, the Vag were the favorites. They kind of looked a little bit at the start, too. They were winning the lane. Took over. And uh, their logo shines brightly now. It's seven take the match. Yeah. The, uh, the PL had a pretty good start, but just couldn't hold it together in the end. I think this OD had too good of a game. It wasn't really ever a moment when this OD was not number one on net worth. We we're a little nervous about the Radiant's ability to siege, but it seemed like just winning team right. fights and winning lanes was all that they What's needed. What's happening? It is over, right? Can we just be clear here? All right. Hundred percent over, dude. <laughs> I'm just dude. seeing too many heroes dying. It's just making me question. Something. Four heroes dead. No buybacks. Ursa had an Aegis. I wasn't nervous for a second, Trent. I for a second. Trust me, kid.